Alright, so this video is just gonna be a quick render of this drawer cabinet. So without wasting any time, let's actually go. Alright, so let's actually work on a drawer cabinet. I'm mostly just gonna be using insets for this. And the reason being that drawers are not that complicated. They might seem a bit too much work at first if you have like never drawn one, if you have never actually modeled one. But honestly, they are really simple and I kind of enjoy drawing them. So, not drawing them, modeling them. So the one in my bedroom uh, video, I didn't actually separate this front bit, front bit, right? And what that did is, well, <laughs> let's just say the drop drawers the top and the bottom one are larger than the middle one. And the reason that happens is because when I look at over here, it takes this top edge and this bottom edge into account as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate this over here. And one second, let me actually, there we go. I was struggling to select it over there. And now I can easily just look at it. And I want, I want three drawers. Three drawers is fine. Okay, so there is some fighting going on. I am quickly just gonna move the face from the back one because I don't really want it. Does it really matter? It's basically on those same vertices, like this face. Okay, so next up, I want the basic shape of the drawers. And to do that, you can just come over here to insets, select individual, and you can do this. That's like the easiest way to do it. I really like 2.8 and how they've basically moved everything over here. <laughs> this is a lot better than what it was, okay? Um, next up, well, what do we do over here? Well, I still want to give the drawers their own um, individual, you know, rectangular areas to like go in and out of. This is not going to be... One second. Let me actually do it first. Okay, so this is going to be each of the drawers, so one, two, and three. Um, as for what this is not going to be, I'm not going to be, you know, make it so they can actually slide in and out. That is probably work for another video. So, let's just stick with what we have for now. And honestly, you can easily just separate this as well. Um, you can work both ways. I just prefer separating it. Uh, let's just add two to all of these. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. And let's just add one along the middle. All right, so I'm going to be using empties and an array over here because modeling the same item or moving the same item to three different locations. It's a lot easier done with empties. I'm just going to mute my mobile right now so I can actually work on this. All right. Okay, so just create a cube over here, and I guess I'll just move it forward, slide it down, and yeah, that, that's good enough to be a handle. All right, close enough. Mm, yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's just scale it along the y-axis, and now that I've actually scaled and moved and like a lot of stuff, done a lot of stuff with it, it's a good idea to apply all the transforms, and move the origin to geometry. All right. Next up, what I want to do is I want there to be two like equal sides over here that I can actually work with. So the easiest way to do that is just to select both of these, extrude, scale along the Y, and there you go. That is, in my opinion, the easiest way. Um, yeah, I should have just, I should have just been into the wireframe mode all this time to be honest it doesn't matter if you take it actually inside the item or not you can even adjust it later on okay and remember you can also adjust the height and everything afterwards as well so let's just select this and all right and that's fine i am going to move its origin to this point over here this one all right so just select this and origin to 3d cursor if you don't have this in your quick favorites you can come over here select this options set origin and origin to 3d cursor all right so next up what i want to do is i want to array this and just put it up here as well and it's really simple i'm going to array this with an object offset i do need an object first though so let's just create one over here so cursor to selected that's shift s and then cursor to selected and just create an empty over here. Doesn't matter which empty, it just needs to be an empty. 
I should not have selected that, but it's fine. Uh, just select object offset and select the empty. And you will realize that everything has failed. All right, one second. I need to actually troubleshoot this. I'm just going to quickly use another empty. No, you're not supposed to have scales. Uh, selection to cursor. There we go. I messed up because I actually scaled the empty up and down. Okay, so now if I just move this one, it shouldn't actually move the others. Well, it should, but only that one. Okay. So you have to go into edit mode and then change it in edit mode. So from now on, you can't just... One second. You can't just scale stuff over here, okay? You have to actually be in edit mode and then scale it. So let's just quickly fix this one. And that's for moving stuff as well, not just scaling. Mm, do I want some more details on it? Uh, not exactly. Maybe I just want a small dent over here. Uh, uh, that should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, honestly, that's pretty much it. Let me just quickly give it some materials. So the cabinet itself can just be blackish. The drawers can be a bit gray, uh, darker. The place that the drawers go into can be like this, and these can straight up be metallic with almost no roughness. Alright, and let's just quickly cursor to world origin and create a plane for this. Let's just scale it up as well. And these don't look metallic, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, it's because there's not a lot of stuff, like, actually around them. Um, or, or, there's not enough lighting. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna keep them metallic. No, we are keeping this monochromatic. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, basically, what you need to do is we need to parent all of these things together. And I prefer just parenting them to the main cabinet. So just select them all, Control p and select Object. And what that will do is... Okay, one second, I forgot one more thing. <laughs> just parent this as well. So what that will do is when you, whenever you like move this main thing, everything else will move with it. But it doesn't affect things like this. So you can still move them around but honestly you could always move them around in edit mode anyway anyway yeah now it's proper thanks for watching and goodbye